Alright, how's it going you guys? Here we are back again with another Deadeye POV. This one, we're going to be talking about Kadim 1. I'm going to be talking about his attack patterns and how to properly Deadeye kite the Lava Elementalist as Deadeye. So here we go. The first thing you're going to do is immediately jump straight to his platform and you're going to stand in the blue area of this corner that I'm standing on. You see, the, I'm going to pause a lot in this video because I'm going to be talking over everything because this is a guide to explain how to do this properly so I will pause to explain things more clearly. Where I am standing now, if you dodge from right to left and right to left to avoid his flame wave CC, um, you'd want to stay here so you are safe from the flame dance fire which I will explain now. First, I'm going to explain his attack patterns and then how to effectively get rid of the lava elementals. Keep in mind that in the beginning of this video, I showed you the build, I showed you my sigils, I showed you everything. So there is all the information. That's exactly what I'm using right now. With the exception I'm using Shadow Portal because we only have one Chrono. And since we only have one Chrono, I'm running Shadow Portal for, for the Pyre. The first one will always spawn here on the uh, southern side of the map. And then right and then left. All you're going to do is you're going to F1, 3. F1, 3. F1, 3. And the, the thing is you get permanent self quickness as long as you mark the target and just press three. And then your F1 resets after every single lava kill. So you're gonna F1 kill, F1 kill, F1 kill while paying attention to Kadim's attacks. So let's explain Kadim's attacks so you know when to dodge because that is going to be the most important thing. You don't wanna get hit by that. It's really gonna slow your momentum and it's gonna suck. So first he will do flame slap, flame slap, Flame wave. He charges it up and then you dodge. Here's an important thing I have to mention. When he does the flame wave CC attack, um, you can dodge early if you wish because it will always go where you were last standing. It will not follow you. It's not locked on your character. It is locked on the last position that your character was. So he will always hit here every single time where you are positioned so you can actually dodge early if you want um you can you don't you don't necessarily need to dodge early anyway because you can probably get another f1 three on another lava but just keep this in mind this is something to keep in mind okay so now go again okay explain the attacks once more so he's gonna do flame slap okay that's one two flame slaps and then flame wave when he puts his head his hands to his head like that that means that's going to be the cc part he's going to cc you and it's going to suck do not get hit by this so that's the flame wave okay you're going to dodge that and now he's going to do a flame slap and then he's going to fire dance when he fire dances these lines start to be on fire do not be on that line that's why we stand here where we are because that's safe you will be safe from that attack hit hit and then he's gonna do it again he's gonna have his hands to his head and then he will release the flame wave and we can just dodge it and then he's gonna do flame slap fire dance okay and then flame slap flame slap flame slap flame slap and then he's going to cast a meteor strike on your last position and that's when you're gonna move platforms right after that you're gonna move platforms the platform that you were on is going to have this giant red triangle happening and then you just move to the next platform right next to it keep in mind that if you if you kneel here you are actually in range of destroying the lamp so if your team says uh or if someone pings their mount to destroy a lamp you can shoot it all the way from here so a cool thing you do is hit the lavas pay attention to Katim's attacks destroy lamp dodge the flame wave these are things you have to pay attention to because you don't want to die as the kiter. Always pay attention to the attack patterns of Kadim. Just remember, the most important part is avoiding that CC slap. Okay, so you can see we are continuing to destroy the lava elementals. He does another flame wave, I dodge that, just like that. Now, Kadim moves to the center of the platform after lamp is brought up and you kill the big mob there, right? What I like to do here, and this is not really something you will always do, but this is what I personally do. If I have Shadow Portal, um, and I need to port five people in one of my pyres, I will swap to my short bow, and I will short bow 
and put the teleport. Now, ideally, the correct way to do this is to just immediately teleport on arrow and put the portal there. What I'm, what I did, the mistake was I did it here, and then I didn't have short bow five. So ideally, you would just short bow five to here, and then move towards where the pyre, which pyre you have been assigned. So I, all I did was I put the portal here, and uh, just move to the pyre. But ideally, you'd want to short bow five where you saw arrow. Now, since I have the shadow portal, I stand away from the stack a little bit so they can, so and I ping it, and they move here. And yeah, it's not the best portal, but we get back to the boss immediately. Keep in mind that your shadow portal can only bring five players, not ten. So keep this in mind that it was it would only be good uh, for the pyre situation. Here I get knocked like a papega. Please ignore that. Um, we go ahead and just DPS the boss. He will do all this giant flame dance attack. You can know his patterns now. And he's going to do a big slap. You want to dodge this slap. Now I messed up. And I fucked up and I died. So, but ideally, you want to avoid this. Okay, now I rifle forward here by accident because I was trying to res myself. Here, see that? He did the flame wave attack. You can pay attention to it. Because now you know the, his attack patterns because you're kiting, right? You've been kiting and you know his attack patterns and you know how to avoid them. Okay, watch out for the flame fire dance. And then you're going to dodge this one. There it is. Okay. We go ahead and do our standard rotation. Keep in mind that with this rotation, you're not trying to maximize DPS. Your ma your potential is to kite. Um, your this entire build is focused on kiting effectively while staying alive. With monk shot, invigoration, precision. So th those are really really good traits. And another qu a good trait is be quick or be killed. Now. <clears throat> Be quick, be killed, by the way, is uh, this thing, the thing that gives you self-quickness after you F1 mark every single lava. And it resets after every lava kill. Right? So, now, <clears throat> the boss is 68%. Once he reaches 66, he will move towards the far west of the map. You can move there by just rifling 4 or whatever other weapon you want to swap to. But I don't recommend swapping weapons to get here because... Uh, your weapon swap will be on cooldown and you need to have your rifle equipped. So one thing you can do is swap to that weapon earlier before 66% and get to the boss. Now always when you step on this platform, he will put the lamp in the middle and then he will begin his pattern. So we kill the lavas, he will do flame slap, flame slap, keep in mind where we're standing, always remember. And then he's going to do flame wave, dodge the flame wave. And we continuously F1 and 3, F1 and 3. Just like that. We have permanent self-quickness. Permanent. Dodge that. Flame wave attack. He's going to slap. And then he's going to fire dance. Okay. He always fire dances twice. And he always fired uh, flame waves twice. Keep this in mind. And on the last one, he's going to do four fire slaps. And then meteor strike. Do not get hit by that meteor strike. It really sucks. This one's really important not to get hit by right here. Because if you get hit by that, you get stunned, and it just sucks. Like, it's just not fun to get hit by that. It does a lot of damage. Um, so we're going to go ahead and stay here. Kneel, kneel up. And we're just going to get rid of lava. By the way, I want to keep... I want to mention something. Whenever Kadim moves to another platform, the boss that this group is hitting under the boss's feet, it's going to have... Um, a teleport that person will be teleported see like my commander here he got teleported because he was in the portal of that boss so moved him to Kadim so now he's gonna move back to the boss and you see he took the aggro but now he moved away and we phase the area whenever Kadim goes to the middle it means you phased now I short bow 5 I put the teleport I short bow 5 uh, ideally, this is what this is the right way to do it. So I did it correctly here, just to showcase it once again. You can also rifle four, but short bow five is really, really convenient, and you don't need rifle in this phase really. You know, short bow, put a portal, short bow five to my group, and I get my portal ready to go. So I stay away from stack. I pink shadow portal. Come, come, come. They come in. Boom. And now we are on the stack. We're getting ready to roll. Okay. Make sure you kneel here, by the way. Always, always kneel in your rotation. I have a. I'm gonna have the dead eye rotation guide out. Dodge that. Always. 
Make sure you're kneeled. A good way to know if you're kneeled or not is to pay attention to your ability and see if uh, the ability 5 looks like it's the kneeled animation or if it's not kneeled. You can see the icons. So like right now, I'm not kneeled because my 5 looks different. Then we have to move here a bit because whenever I dodge, I need to go back to the stack to receive boons. Go ahead and see, see it. Next phase is 33%. This is the part where you need to move to the other platform immediately. Right on your left. So directly on your left, once you reach 33%, towards your left is going to be where you need to go. So right here. So on the map, that would be here. Look, southeast of the map. That's where you're going to go. Okay, so we're going to go in position. Same idea. We're going to kneel right here. Okay. And then we're going to continue our rotation. Okay, Kadeem's going to put the lamp in the middle. And then we do what we got to do. Now you can see my health, right? But that's why we go muck shot and invigoration precision. And I have heal, so I'm good. Okay, keep paying attention to his attack patterns. It's important where you're standing because you are alone. You're basically alone on an island, so you have to keep yourself alive using traits and using dodges. So it's going to be important. If you die, it's going to be sad. Go ahead and kill all the lavas. Same thing. F13. F13. Now, in the last one, you see I dodge to the right because I know his attack pattern. After four flame slaps, I will dodge to the next floor and get ready to do my stuff there. Once you see that Mindo Strike land down, we go ahead and kneel down here. Okay. And then I look to the right to see on the pylon, uh, or rather the lamp, and I saw someone else going for a lamp, so I don't have to go for it. He does Flame Dance. Go ahead and F13 every Lava Elementalist, or la Elemental rather. Just get rid of all of them right here. Just like that. He's gonna do a flame dance. Now watch for his last attack pattern here. Four flame slaps every single time. And then he will land a meteor strike, dodge that, and then move towards the next. When you are here and you jump, make sure you're not standing in the middle. You're going to eat a lot of damage if you stand in the middle. Move out of there immediately. Because that right there, when he moves to another platform, Boom. That is going to hurt. Do not be in that. So always, always move. It's also important to keep in mind that every time he moves to another floor, look at the corners. He will unleash three fire, uh, whatever you call it, fire AOE from the sky. And they're going to land always here. So remember, every corner, that's why the blue is safe, by the way, for this as well. The blue areas of this triangle is safe he will land one here one here one here on every corner he will land an aoe but not direct on the corner just over here closer towards the middle so you can kneel here and be safe it's just whenever you use that jumping platform blue thing um you will get in the middle so remember that now as soon as zamoros spawns here or moves here you will just have to move from the platform. You're done. Your job is done. You've done your job. You've done the kiting. You're going to move to the next floor and you're going to help your team now. Okay? So you're going to kill the wyvern. And just stay on stack and stay with your group. Uh, Shadow portal is no longer needed at this point, by the way. Because Shadow portal is like really good for the pyres area. But it's only a five-man portal. So it won't be as useful as chrono portal in the next phase. So usually the chrono, they would put a portal exactly here. Um, as you can see, the chrono puts the portal there. We move and he will put the portal where Zamoros is, uh, like towards Zamoros. And then when we, uh, when we use that portal, we're going to be killing the pyre. Keep in mind that we are running spell breaker. So... We don't need to kill the stability, uh, the stability pyre, because he would boon strip it. But I do believe that our spellbreaker died here, so we're gonna go ahead and destroy this first pyre. All right, get rid of it fast. Jump on this platform, and then we're gonna jump right on this next one. 
Uh, if you have two chronos, you won't have to do this because the chrono will do things like really, really smoothly and portal for days. But it's not your job, you're Deadeye. This is a Deadeye POV guide, not chrono guide, so I won't get too deep into that. It's just how to play as Kiter. Now, one of us did get downed. I tried to go back to res him, but he fell down, so I just ignored him and I continued my DPS on the boss. In this part, always just make sure to be careful with his big flame AoE attack that knocks back. It, it really, really hurts, so you want to avoid that mainly. Be careful not to run into this fire. He's going to always do that. They're always dangerous spots, so just move away from them, move around them, and avoid them that way. We're going to continue our rotation here. We always uh, keep in mind that with the Deadeye rotation, when you have five malice stacks, I'm only using three twice instead of three times. Um, in my Deadeye guide, uh, you will see that in the Deadeye guide rotation explanation, um, it will have seven malice normally. And there you go. We kill the boss right here. And that is how you play Deadeye Kiting on Kadeem1. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. And follow my stream over at twitch.tv slash l 9 where I showcase myself playing raids, fractal CMs, all that stuff. And ask me whatever questions you like. Deadeye is my all-time favorite class in this game, honestly. And I try to play it whenever chance Whenever the chance pops up, I always want to play it because it's just such a, a great, fantastic class. Anyway, guys, I will see you later, and I hope you have yourself a good day. Peace out.